Hello everybody, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. My name is Mitch Tavian, and in this tutorial I'm going to be continuing on from my other graph view tutorials. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to plot multiple series on the same graph, and how to uh, stick data points on there. So like you see I have this little red dot here. Um, so yeah, if you want to learn how to do that, keep watching. So the first thing we're going to do is create a couple more series, and create two more and a couple more variables f and count, you'll see what those are for in a sec <coughs> series 2 actually, I'm smart let's copy so series 2 is going to be, I'm going to make it a cos function and series 3 is going to be the red dot. So to create a red dot, we need to set draw data points. And set a couple other properties. Oops. This needs to be set data point radius. There we go. And set thickness. Let's go with H here. And this can all be found on the documentation site like I showed you um, here. Here we go. So in the documentation you can find it in the legend on the right. How do you configure this? So it's just basically just copy this and throw it into your project. Uh, this the documentation is actually pretty good on this library. So we'll make it red, and then we'll make series two um, black. And then to make the red dot, we, just, we basically just want to do a red dot when um, at this point here, so when sign equals 1. Uh, the only thing you got to be careful with is sign very, it doesn't equal exactly 1. You're, you're probably going to get decimals, so you have to just do a range. So just do like y is greater than 0 0.999, and then do and count equals 0.0 because .0, we only want to we only want to show one point that's why I'm using count so it's only gonna it's only gonna make one point and when x is greater than zero why is this angry well that needs to be double equal there we go so yeah if y is greater than basically if, basically if y equals one and we only want one data point so I'm gonna once this is achieved, I'm going to set count to 1, so this will never be called again. And x is greater than 0 because we want the first point after. So then do series 3, actually I'll just copy this. Series 3.pen data, and the sign function is y. <coughs> Another kind of weird thing with this library is you can't just plot one point if you want it to show you have to plot um, two points so I'm just gonna make I'll have it plot the point that we want which is gonna be right here and then I'm gonna have it plot another point that's gonna be connected to it but basically it's gonna be the same point because it's just gonna have this tiny little addition and if because if you don't do this it, it doesn't work Series, and then we add series two, and graph dot add series, and add series. Quick, and that should be it. <coughs> <coughs> so 
So you can obviously do tons of stuff with this, like find whatever points you want and mark them. Or oh, oh okay. So so what happened here is it took this point. Oh wait a sec. Oh, it's because I have F in here. I need to be Y. There we go. Yeah, so because it's actually two points that we're plotting. And jump down to the other function there. Come on, emulator. Okay, there we go. So there's a point, and here's the cosine function in black and the sine function in blue. And we can move the graph. So there you go. I'm not sure if I'll do another one. We'll see if I can think of something else to come up with with uh, do for graph view. But like, if you ha if you have anything you want to create, just go to the site and check out the documentation. It's really good. Um, pretty much figure out how to do anything. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.